Hello everybody, it's Clayton from Clay Store, and on today's episode of Poly Perfect, I am going to be showing you how to create your own legendary wand from the new series, Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, so let's finally get started with our wand. So here we have our mood board, and essentially we want to use this to influence our sculpt a lot. So you know, you have your references such as your wand, so you can get the correct sa like shape language and that kind of thing. Um, you know, you can look at these designs and like pick out exactly how how you want your design to represent in 3D space. You know, if you want it to have a, a thinner end or a thicker handle or whatnot, you can have a look at these and just see how the light is bouncing off of the surface and just really get a good idea of how you're going to create this in 3D, you know? So... Of course, we have our wand already blocked out in Maya. So we need to take this at, like blocked out asset essentially and bring this over to ZBrush. So the way I would usually do this is I would have a highlight everything up here or I would go to my outliner and I would make sure everything is selected. I would then head up to file, export selected, find your location here. I'm then going to change this to OBJ if you have FBX selected. Give it a name. So we're just going to call it wand underscore block out. You can either keep all this on or off. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then essentially you just want to export what you have selected. Let's head over to ZBrush. So as before, as I showed you, just import a Dynamosphere 1 to 8. And what I would do is I would just hide that so it stays at the top just to keep the world space big enough and then import a cube i don't know why you have to import a cube i think it's because it's got like no history or anything in like the world space so you have to import a cube before you actually import your asset make sure you don't import it over the polysphere because you might need this for later use import go to where your file is located and press open so if you can't see it just press f to frame and then it'll show you right here and there you go. Shift FC wireframe. Make sure nothing's broken. If you've got any engons, it's not going to allow you to actually import your asset. It's going to ask you to fix it up in the top right. So make sure that you have no more than four sides on your shape. And what I mean by that is you can, you can see here the vertex is one, two, three, four. Make sure you don't have a vertex in between there with no actual edges. If you do, then create another edge loop and connect it, of course. Right. Let's have a look at this when we smooth it. So when we press D, that's going to show us our smooth, essentially. And already we can see we're kind of getting that handly bit on the fingers. So we got our simple head. Now uh, we're going to fix this handle. So if we're still, yeah. So on my design, you can actually see um, I have these like rivets where the fingers would go, like this. And I've also got this fur down here and up here. What we're going to do for those is is we're actually going to add a use the actual uh, polysphere that I kept here.
If you want to learn more about ZBrushes by subscribing at claystore.com, you will find the raw footage of this wand creation. This also helps us out and lets us continue to create content just like this. Did you know we have a community discord? No? Well check out the description below, make sure you read the rules and tick the box at the end so that it will give you full access of our discord. Then head over to introduction, pick your roles, here you can select if you want to be notified if new games and movies drop, you can select your career path, you can choose to be a part of the clay store community and win prizes and select if you would like to compete in challenges and game jams. Thank you so much for watching, we would highly appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Comment down below what your thoughts were and don't forget to head over to our Discord and share what you learnt throughout this episode. Remember all designs throughout each series will be shown at the end of the video, so be sure to head over to the submission sections in the Discord and post your work. I have been your host Clayton Jones and don't forget to stay creative.